Assalamu alaikum. Hope you all are well and studying well also. In our last class, we have done some homework. I hope it's already done. So, in page number 63, the homework was and there is something in the middle of the page that was skipped as it was a new topic. Today, we will learn about that very topic. So, you have your own book. Please open it. Then it will be very easy to understand. So, page number 63, there was a exercise and what was the topic? The topic was rewrite the sentences correctly. So rewrite that means you have to write it again and focus on this word correctly. That means the sentence the sentences that are given in your book it's in a wrong way and you have to write it in a correct way proper way. So come to the examples without example it will not be clear like Read class in I1. So, read class in I1. Does it make any sense? No. So, what will it be? We know that in the beginning of the sentence there is capital letter and generally person that sit on the beginning of the sentence. And end of the sentence there is full stop. So what is the capital letter in this sentence? I. So write I here. And you look that in the end of the sentence there is a full stop. So it will be at the end of the sentence. And the word that is before full stop it will sit at the end of the sentence. In that sense it is already in the end of the at the end of the sentence so we will write it here but it's not correct yet so what will it be will it be i read class in one no we uh, how can we say if i say i class read in one no so what will it be it will be i read in class 1. So what is the thing here? The thing is you have to write the capital letter in the beginning of the sentence and the word that is before full stop you have to put it at the end of the sentence and rest of the words you have to think about it you have to understand the meaning and then you have to arrange the words to put here. That's why we have written like this. I read in class 1. Now the sentence makes a sentence makes a sense. Number 2. Another example. Okay. Ramadan it now is. Here we can see two capital letters. So already we know that the capital letter it will sit in the beginning of the sentence. So what will be here? There are two capital letters already. In this time you have to remember that we know that the proper nouns, the month, the day's name, then the person's name special thing, the institute's name, institution's name that are also in capital letter. So you have to put it accordingly. Like there is a technique, important Greek that is there is a full stop and the word Ramadan before full stop. So it will be at the end of the sentence because we know at the end of the sentence we have to put a full stop. So we have to write it here, Ramadan. Okay, it's already gone. Then what are left? It now is. So another capital letter now. N. Now it will be sit here. So Ramadan gone, now gone. And it and is that are left. So what will it be? Now is it Ramadan or now it is Ramadan? Yes, you are correct. Now it 
is Ramadan. Now it is Ramadan. Okay. Number three. Another example I am giving. That um, will in be Okay, there are again two capital letters. So what will you do here? You will do, look, again there is a full stop and there is capital letter. So definitely it will sit at the end of the sentence. And then another capital letter E. So it will be here in the beginning of the sentence. E. Then you have to think, it done, may done. So these are left will in be. So you have to think about it. It will in be may. Is it correct? Does it make any sense? No. So okay, now we can say, we can say it in will be may. No. So what will it be? It will be it will be in May. That means it will be in the month of May. Okay. So these are the general rules you have to be, you have to follow. So I read in class 1. Here the thing is I is capital letter. You have to put it in the beginning and there is full stop and you have to put it at the end of the sentence and all are same. Now we will discuss something more. Look at here. Okay, jumble words or sentence reordering. The thing is you have to read the sentence correctly. The words are in a jumbled way and you have to reorder the sentences. Okay, so the basic rule is subject. Subject that means you have to discuss about any, it may be a person, it may be a thing, it may be, uh, it may be a noun, it may be a pronoun also. Okay, helping verb. verb. Helping verbs that are am, um, is, are, was, where you already know the uh, use of the words. Have, has, like this you have already known. Okay. Action verb, that is doing verbs. Then object plus other words. So here is an example. Like my teacher has trained me to solve such questions. Here my teacher, it is the subject, the person. Okay. Then has, has here helping verb. My teacher has trained me, trained, train, to train. So teacher has trained me. This is action verb, me. That is the object of the sentence. And then other words that is to solve such questions. Okay, then come to the next. These are the examples in page number 63. Are to going the school. These are the examples. So what have to do here? Thing is they. T is capital here. So we have written T here in the beginning of the sentence. And school before full stop. So definitely it will go at the end of the sentence and some are left. Then we have to think about it. Going. Going it is a action verb. It is a doing word. So you have to think about using going where. Before any action verb, we have to use am, is, are, was, where, have, has, like this, okay? So, they are going to school. Number two, our Friday holiday full stop is. So, if is the capital letter, it will be in the beginning of the sentence. Holiday before full stop, so it will be at the end of the sentence. And then, our is these are left. So what will it be? Friday is our holiday. Next. These, uh, sorry, is our city, full stop, big Dhaka. Dhaka is a proper noun and there is no other capital letter in the sentence. So definitely it will be in the beginning of the sentence. And city, it will be at the end. Then Dhaka is a big city. You have to keep it in mind that the sentence should make a sense. When you will put the words accordingly, you have to remember about the meaning of the words. You have to uh, ensure that the meaning of the sentence is correct. Only then you can make it easily.
Okay, number four. We in play field full stop the. So we in the beginning field at the end. So what do we do in the field? We play in the field. So easy. Number five. Is seven he old full stop years? Okay, sorry. You I. It's capital here, so it will be small. There is a mistake. Okay, he is seven years old. Number six, are in playing the the field. So T capital T here the field before full stop. So it will be at the end of the sentence. So what are they doing in the field? They are playing in the field. Look, are that helping verb, and then doing what? Then rest of the words. Okay, healthy eat food. Full stop. We should. So we capital here food before full stop here we food what do we do with the food we eat healthy food and should is here so we should eat healthy food number eight table full stop on the cake there is so T capital T is here there is a cake on the table these are the examples in page number sixty three so we have already solved it. So in page number 64, there are some other exercises you have to do it so that you can practice it well. Remember that when you can do something regularly, frequently, in a regular basis, then it will be easy for you to do correctly. So page number 64, please do the homework and practice it well so that in exam hall, we can do it correctly. Inshallah, in next class, we will discuss about new topic. Till then, take care. Assalamu alaikum.